Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. The parable of the talents. Kale, tuweba ze katonda. Katonda tukweba za kumangu tuwade chisa mchifuchu no. Irakulu nakulu nukule chiga mchichuwa mkisa. Fill us with your grace and power that this word may be word of transformation through Christ our Lord. I am Reverend Dr. Grace Rubare. It's a pleasure to be here uh, once again. And as I did mention consistently, uh, today we are now on the third. I said God has made us stewards of four things. Tuliba wanika. Steward over wanika. And I gave the common example is the treasure of the church. Minister of Finance of Uganda. President M7 of Uganda. Uganda see I'm seven. But as of now, as of what? I know we in the Uganda yeah, I'm seven. Nenga Uganda see chi? Aha. That's the meaning of stewardship. Stewardship means that you have been given authority to keep those things, to keep the money, to keep the resources, to keep where. But why I insist on it? When people become stewards, they become proud and forget that the things are not theirs. And that's why I'm teaching it, you know? People forget. Someone becomes chairman, Nero C1, Nafuka Bose, very powerful, as if the whole village is his. And that's why I'm teaching stewardship. Because God has made us stewards. But many of us, we have moved off the road. We have become too arrogant, too complicated, too difficult. Although some of us have lost very many things. So I am teaching stewardship in this month of September to be When you are a good steward, you benefit yourself, your family, your church, and your nation. I give you common example is Chipro teacher, Just to, yeah, ten what? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. You have four hundred what? Million. Ten minutes. You have four hundred million. Ten what? We can say that Chipro teach, Chipro teach, Chiprimo, Chiptegay, that company, okay? We can say that they have been good stew because they could have chosen not to run. They may not even have known that they can run. I hope you know that some of you, you have talent in you which you don't know. But they chose to, to practice, to practice, to practice, and eventually they are now stars. So how, how have they benefited? Them as individuals, personies, and 400 what? Yeah. They are family. Mrs. Chiproti was put on flyer. A women flyer. So he has benefited his wife to become what? I am sure boys are looking to marry the girls of Chiproti. I am very sure. Don't you think so? Yeah. When the girls who grow people are busy sporting. Because my dear, how do you mean such a talent? Yeah. Yeah. If you wanted 50 women, won't he get real? Because how do you miss such a talent? Because now, a talent, 10 minutes, you win you, the whole world. His family, I'm sure his father are, are celebs. I hope he paid tithe in the church, 40 million. The church has benefited with 40 what? The nation got a medal. Now, enough, enough from Uganda, after knowing us for doing nothing, at least Chipro teacher has brought our umbrella our flag somewhere. So let me repeat. We must be good stewards. When you are a good steward, you benefit yourself, you benefit your family, you benefit your church, you benefit your nation. God has made us a steward of so four things. I have said number one is body. I preached that. That body you have. All our abilities are not in Japan, are only in you. To become a mother, you have the potential. 
To become a father, you have the potential. To become nothing also, you have the same potential. Uh, to, become, uh, to get a diploma, the potential is with you. To get a degree, it is with you. To, whatever you want to do, the potential rests in your body. So if you're a good steward, you will be of value to yourself, to your church, to your nation, and to your family. So we, we have done with the body. So I want to remind those who are absent, be a good steward of your body. You harm your body, you are finished. And the body is even terrible. Because if you harm your body and you die, if you, it, yeah? you have harmed yourself, you have harmed the church, you have harmed your family, and are cross. So guard yourself against evil and enemies and those who can harm you. Number two was time. God has given each of us 24 hours. In 24 hours, some people make a million. Others 500 and others zero. Same God, same present in seven. Same environment, rainy or dry season. So check yourself. You might be wasting some time somewhere. Yeah, review yourself. And I said by definition from physics, time is a time what? Sequence of series. Even if you get up, you get up, you get up, you get I hope you, know, you hope you remember the word irreversible. A time today is what? 21st of September, the year of our Lord, 2022. It is gone. It is what? You will never get it again. So today you were a student, senior four, you were senior six, you were a mother, you are aware. It is gone. So be a good steward of the time. Manage your time across. Then you'll be a good steward. So you, you, you'll be of value to yourself, to your church, to your nation, and to yourself. So today, we speak about possession. Is now number three. So God has made us stewards of four things. Today, I speak about possession. So come back next Wednesday. I'll speak about the fourth. Hallelujah. Uh, and the next Wednesday, I will provide you the notes of today and next Wednesday. So you have a reason to come back. Now, possession is number three. What is possession? Possession from the word to po possess. Eh? Possession. The status, of, the status, possession is to have. Eh? But there are two key words in possession. Physical possession and mind possession. Hallelujah. Ah, what example can I give? If there was a plot of land there, are you getting me? In your mind, you must possess that land. And two, you must have a land title. Okay? You must have both. Both in your mind and physical. Don't, don't, don't possess only in the mind. Like some of you, there are boys you admire, you have them in your mind. Physically, you have never told them what you want. So, so you, you are possessing in your, uh, not physically. Uh, so, you must have both. Some children, their parents have had good money, they, they bought them land. Tata wana akuwa, itaka. Nenga guevira ozo vita, viko ze vitia? Teviriku itaka. So you may physically be having the land title, but mentally, you are not there. They may even steal it. Ugeno kujukira ngezali eko mukaga, this guy demeka, because your mind, you have not paid the attention to that land. Is it now making sense? Uh, those who are going to get married, like uh, Edwin, you can have a wife. When we are teaching, we are going next time pay attention. Eh? Uh, we say, you become my wife today. Uh, are you getting me? I give you this ring. Uh, there is a word we say. To have and to hold. 
Now, to have is to have like this, to, to physically have, okay? But to hold is to possess. Now, you can easily have a wife by ring, but you don't possess that wife. Hallelujah. Eh? You have a wife in the house. The wife is in the house physically, but her mind are elsewhere. Does that make sense? Eh? Because I'm teaching the word in mind and physical. So what we mean for Bagole is that have this wife and also hold. Have and hold. The woman, a certain woman told the man, a certain woman told another woman. You now get the point, eh? You can have the ring. I will hold the man. So, mind and physical. So, to possess possession is that we must have the things the Lord has given us and hold them. So, both in mind and in physical. Kinds of possession. Therefore, I have given kinds of possession. Kinds. How would you possess things? Therefore, I have given. One is called corporal possession. You can use your English, which you want. But it means eh, possession of a material or a tangible thing which could be movable, which could, which could, move, which could be movable as well as immovable. That is possessing a house a car, are you getting me? Physical, it is movable or unmovable, whatever, tangible or material, but to possess material things. So the question is, how many material things do you possess? Ah, that's your homework now. Go gaga bubuli wa go ngamanti. Hey, kati go yogere ko. Koleshi? Kwata zinenga to gambe. Now which you know that hey, bintu bimeka ebiri physical. Tangible, which you possess. Number two is incorporal possession. Now, th those are things which are immaterial, intangible, like having knowledge in your head, and we, we can't touch. Hey, uh -uh. Hey, now when you look at me, do you see a PhD here? It's not there. Maybe when you give me a chance to write, but your head looks like my head. That is all. Hey, but this head has four degrees, a diploma and a certificate, this one here. Four. Hallelujah. But it is inter intangible. If I have land like I have, that is fee physical. So intangible is could be knowledge, a copyright, a trademark, a copyright. Eh? So that is we can't touch it physically, but we do possess it. And it can even be for you who are looking people to be in love. You can possess a boyfriend in love. Physically, to because they agreement, but there is love, eh? which is intangible, and you possess that man eh? on that basis. But it is inter intangible. So we possess things which are either material or immaterial, intangible. So the question again, how many intangible things do you possess? And you are sure. And you are what? You may possess things which you are not sure, but for you how much you are sure? Number three is immediate possession. Possession of a thing through another person. You buy a car and give it to a driver. So you possess a car, but through the driver, second party. You buy a taxi and give it to a driver. You possess a, a taxi, but through another what? Another person. You may be running businesses. Like now, I have a building. At first, I was managing it myself. I was making losses. So I now gave it to someone to manage it on my B. So 
my work is receive money. So I possess a building now through another what? Another party. Uh, so uh, so do, we possess things through another party. Uh, you possess land which is your father's land. Hichapa chimanyagata tawo. Nengo lia uvuga uluwa mani. Nenga you possess that land through your uh, through your father. Uh, you go and get married to a man and sleep in a flat. So by being married, you sleep in a flat. You are powerful. But you are possessing that house through what? Uh, through a third what? A third party. Number four, immediate possession. You buy a car and immediately drive it. You buy a house and occupy it immediately. Okay? You immediately possess it. So, why have I raised these four points? Is to just check your mind, tease your mind, that there are a lot of possessions surrounding you. Please have the ability to be a good stew. In other words, there are many things you are losing on your way. It is your father's land, so you possess through your father, but you yourself, you are careless, and your father is also careless, and thieves are taking. Four acres have become one. Now, who is at, who is at a loss? Bible counsel. Bible yegambachi in possession. Bible. What does the Bible say? Okay, we go to the Bible. Now, Bible 1, Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 21. Behold, Yahweh, your God, has set the land before you. Go up, take possession as Yahweh, the God of your father, has spoken. I'm now teaching the Bible. So the point number one, go and possess. I now declare the same blessing unto you, to go and possess. Hallelujah. He possess that man you admire. Make a step. Don't just wait. He, God is telling you, you people, God spoke, this land is yours. Go and, go and possess. So what has God spoken to you and you are not possessing it? Now go and possess it. What has God spoken? What has your father spoken? What has you... In other words, take a step from today to go and reclaim what belongs to you. That's the Bible castle. Number two, Luke chapter 11 verse 21. Whenever a strong man, fully armed and equipped, is guarding his own castle, he enjoys peaceful possession. The word I'm teaching here is guarding. When you possess things, guard them. You possess a husband, at home, Hallelujah. You possess land, but you are being reluctant. They will take it. You possess a job, now here you are working like uh, there is no tomorrow. They will take the job. You will be dismissed. So today I want to declare the same blessing on you. To be God things which belongs to you. Raju mtu wakumanyirila kuchi intu cho. Dema mkazi azawa akwa no msajawe. Mkume kubo mtu wale kupolisi mangu mangu. Eh? Hallelujah. People are stealing your land. You are here. Now doing what? Take them to police. Pos reclaim your land and possess it. Many Christians have lost their position by being quiet, whatever, being reluctant. I mean, what is the right strategy to take? Some of you are taking strategies of prayers which are not necessary. Can we, can we distinguish today the right strategy? Is it prayer or action or both? Faith without action is dead. And action without faith is also dead. Now, some Christians are on one strategy. But that may be a wrong strategy you are taking. God is telling us, go and, and possess. Why didn't God say, you know, I gave you that land. Okay, you pray, you pray, I gave you. No, he said, go and. But now you, you begin praying for the sister. I'm praying for you, sister. Boys will come and take as you keep praying. You, you stay in prayer. 
if you, if the sister is yours go and and reclaim and after you reclaim you guard ngo take ke mpita nkusibidao at don't possess at ngo chali awo smarter people will come and appear when you possess go and introduce reclaim make her pregnant make every every for to possess hallelujah to do not delay make every effort to possess so god is saying go and what and god don't only possess but do what ki chindu cho chikume hallelujah number 3 acts chapter 5 verse 1 but a certain man named ananas with safra his wife saw so their possession selling your property is okay hallelujah eh hey, so you can buy a plot of land sell it buy a car sell a car buy another one move here to sell your possession is okay as long as you know why you are selling you have a strategy selling when you allow it is a, is a sin you sell with a straw uh, like these guys of NSS have been telling us for you are age 40 is it 45 eh? no ago age 45 gun pick your money oh, then but the, i liked the NSSF man called who richard he said before you take the money calculate if we give you your money 70 million how what what interest are you going to have it here we are giving you interest where you are taking it is there what interest because you can be removing your money from nssf taking it to losses so selling your property is biblical is what number 4 acts chapter 5 verse 3 ananas say to peter why has satan taken possession of you uh, now that's another terrible word instead of possessing you can be possessed now don't be possessed hallelujah you get a wife eh? and she possesses you and you forget your parents ugo ina muzimu hallelujah you get a job eh yeah? you possess a job and then the job possess possesses you you are in the job forever you forget your wife you forget prayer forget your children then the job has possessed you that is a sin hallelujah some of you are looking for money to the extent you are, you are even willing to kill someone akulemeda mukubo for you to get the money you have now been possessed by money ananas got possessed by his own property that he went to the extent of lying possession he had now become the possession had possessed him and that is a sin now when god has given us properties to possess be careful not to sin not what not to sin many people have lost their testimony because of possession they are thinking about property they will do anything to get property including killing a husband what about yako eh omukazi no skiminga to kill your husband omusaje no skiminga to kill your then you have been possessed by the possessions ananias was possessed 5 mark chapter 9 verse 45 if your foot should cause you to sin cut it off it would be better for you to enter into a life crippled than remain in possession of both your feet and be thrown into gunsen now here is telling us that as we endeavor to possess very many things be careful are we possessing by sin kale if your eyes are making you to possess 40 women remove them so that you now don't see and possess one and have peace hallelujah because then your eyes are causing you to to sin go buri mukazi gola babera mulunji buri gola babera mulunji you saw one two in fact you, you know english better the beautiful are not yet what born so buri gola buri gosanga now so your eyes remove them so that you are now blind and have peace hallelujah hey 
So he's telling us, don't allow part of your body or any system in yourself to cause you stumble, to cause you to sin. Because then you are going to possess sin. You are going to possess what? Yeah. So what is causing you to sin? Are they eyes? Are they your legs? Is it your body? Why? So do not commit sin. So he's telling us, if you are food, if you get a baby, you get a baby, you get a baby, you get a baby, you get a So at the next time, when men look at you, you not be now beautiful as the earlier, you get a baby, you get a baby. You get a baby. That's why when people get married, you get a baby. You get a baby, 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 you get a but to So whatever is causing you to sin, remove it. Number six. Matthew chapter five, verse five. Blessed are the meek, blessed are what? For they as for they for they as heirs shall obtain possession of us. Meek, the other word can be humble, gentle, full of meat. Nti abantu abeto waze kunsikuno beba gendo kusikirensi eno abeto waze. What does it mean? According to God, abantu abeto waze, abantu abakakam, abantu vechisa, abantu abagunjifu, abantu abete kiriza baje afu no busiko bwensi eno. Chitegeza chi? Wanafu na kabanja jaka kumabulunji, afunu mchala mkume bulunji, reverend ya muagale, uchia maniso na muagale. He, you can easily possess the whole of this world because everyone trusts you. Hallelujah. So those who are meek, Matthew chapter 5 verse 5, those who are meek, who are humble, who are gentle, who are nice, who are diligent, who are careful, okay, will inherit this world. In other words, our blessings are in the way we conduct our and to possess this world, to have possession in things, if we conduct ourselves well, we will succeed. Because we are trusted by everyone. When there is a job, hey, 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 people keep looking for you. When you are a bad person, nobody calls you. Hallelujah. There are people I work with. I would rather close my office. I can never delegate them even a single second to stand in for me because they are bad people. Can you imagine that? And I'm, I'm the head who said these are, are bad what? So those guys have never got any of my blessings. I can't delegate them. No, because they are bad people. So how much have they lost? Yet, if the work in nature was good, there are so many things to bless them with people. Many of you, your parents, will never give you an inheritance because you are bad people. Mama wa kumanyi ngoli muwala muzimu. Teichi agenda kuwa wadichimu. Ila gamba, evi nitu vya ngamba, vya mwana wangu, oye temu mkwasa kuwa wadichichi. Have you heard people saying, there is a man who said, when I die, don't bury me. Don't bury me near my wife. The man said, when I die, don't bury me near what? As in, and he said those words when himself and his wife were living. And for the wife died much earlier. So the lines of graves are like this. Like this. So the music is like this. He even said, the kids of that woman, you can, a person can hate you up to the grave. The people who are humble, who are meek, who are gentle, will possess this word. So we will have to have a mix of jukola jitia, to be in possession of many things in the world. How to acquire possession is, how to acquire what? 
kati obugaga tubuja wa nzindi nansonga asatu zemanyizo ka yesoka divine blessing divine what katonda ya kuwe bilabo ebitone ngachi protishi na muo kuduka which didn't give to me maybe or I, or I didn't discover and so she protich in 10 minutes you have 400 what so god has given us blessings divine blessings sort them out look for them understand them and possess them hey that is all and you can acquire so many possessions by god's blessings divine number 2 is inheritance Hey, who wants to read Proverbs 13 verse 22? Ah, ne na Bible. Amanyo kubuyikula. Proverbs 13 verse 22. Aha. Bible za muziri wala. Eh, Bible study mbala muri bubi. Eh, kale read amai. Eh, soma. Ane no mzinda. Aha. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but a sinner's wealth A good man leaves inheritance for his children's children So the other day I challenged the people like now you are here who of you has anything good from his grandfather not a father grand what Eh not father Hallelujah for you give us evidence and we have said eh? don't possess things through others what we want is that your grandfather had 40 acres of land and he gave either your father 10 and your father has transferred it to you so out of the 40 you have two or he gave you directly whatever the case but the land was for your grandfather you have Four takers you have ten in your name. Hallelujah. Ah, so you, now you can check whether your grandparents were prudent or not. But anyway, chamber demba teasing achiri chimu. One way we acquire inheritance and possession is through inheritance. Through your father, through your mother, through your friends, through where you whichever is inheritance. Eh, eh, whichever is called what? Inheritance. Number three is called hard work. Hey, you go and work. Hey, you go and work, hey, which means mixing factors of production properly. What are they? When you mix land properly, you get rent. When you have nakawa, see, see, you have labor, you have labor, you get wages. You have capital, you get interest. You have businesses, entrepreneurship, you get profits. Kati go imiri dewa. Ah, kwebi ebina o imiri dewa. How much rent do you have in a month? How much wages do you have? How much interest do you have? How much profits do you have? So out of those four types of incomes, how much do you have? You can assess your poverty or richness now. Hallelujah. Now rich people, rich people, ona somela nakawa, rich people. No rich person can have one source of income because there's what you call uh, challenges in the economy. You saw covid Uh, so if you are if you are one income you can get off so you need a variety of these so that's how we acquire uh, possession divine through the blessings the lord has put daire akwa the music you can sing and get the money akwa do bwongo you can study get a degree get a job Th- that is divine inheritance of your parents and po- and hard work of those three. So finally, how to be a good steward and then we pray. How to be a good steward. Obero tyo mwani ko mulunji. Number one, recognize that resources are scarce. Ah uh, what? And therefore you apply choice and remember opportunity cost. Ah, or you wanaka abitegera. Fetwa kadiwa. Na ye, the standard doesn't change, okay? Uh, that economics na musoma senior five. Senior one actually. Resources are scarce. So Whatever you have keep it what? He and then apply choice. Every time you are making a DC, a decision. And the word of twenty cost is single obukulu. Ngende na chino ne kechino. What is the cost to take this and leave? 
Now, some of you have made wrong decisions, which have a higher cost than the returns. Hallelujah. Yeah. I first of all marry or build a house. Now, which has returns first? Wife or house? Am I, that's your homework. Hey, Clough, am I has got homework now. Hey, am I has got, Clough, am I has got homework now. Ah, to so can I Eh? I buy a car or I buy a land. I go to school first or I buy a car. So both are, both are good, but because resources are scarce, you can't do them at the same what? Now to so can I So you make a choice. But in making a choice, take note of opportunity what? Where is the high cost? Where is the return? Now, when you make wrong decisions, you are a bad steward. And therefore you harm yourself, you harm your family, you harm your church, you harm your nation. Because you have not taken resources properly. Number two, recognize the God-given abilities and put them to proper use. That's all. General question. What has God provided? What do you have? Put it to proper uh, use. Number three, be a good manager. Good what? Management means what? Planning, budgeting, controlling, maintenance. Management. So, whatever position you have, be a good what? Have a budget, have a plan, have a control, have a maintenance, have an implementation plan, have a worker plan. Have this. Be a good manager. Some of you, are, you have your resources, you are being a bad manager. Resources are being wasted every what? Every day. Number four, take a break between tasks and do what? Relax, think, meditate, energize, strategize, embark. As you are moving like this, sometimes you need to make a break and think first. Should I sell my land really? But in two years, in four years, in ten years, then take time and what? And relax. Eh? Eh. So, think, energize, embark. When I find time to meditate, why are things going the way they are? What can be done? Number five, make a will. Eh, make a will. When I, eh, make a will. You have possessions. Categorize them. This belongs to this one here, 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 here. here eh. Make a will. So that if you go today, your family will be will benefit. Now you have a plot of land in Jinja. It is not in the wheel. Nobody knows it. You die and the thieves in Jinja take. You have caused harm to your family and to your nation and to your church. You are useless. Hmm. For lack of words. You are what? Hmm. Your wife is here suffering and your children Wagule etaka, noteka ke nyumba, etaka eka chinana, kulike nyumba, umkazo tamanyi, avant tamanyi, ati wadu wagamba noli a jukuma, jukume vlunji, mkazu wangi tamanyi, kati no fa, nagamba, ha, mkama yeba zi, answer the what? Answer the prayer. Nga sirika, ati wamugama, mkazu wangi tamanyi, tako zechi, ati yagen omugama, eh, mnangum sejo yangamba, mutomanyi, ne taka lidigano. Now, these are some of you are very poor by mistakes of your parents and your families. Hallelujah. Hey. So make a will. Put things proper. Number six. Prepare for tear and wear. Depreciation. Exit. Hey. When you possess things, there will be tear and wear. There is depreciation. There is exit. So what is next? What is what? You will gain the color watch. What next? In conclusion, Christian church will grow stronger when you and me are good stew. So that we, you can pay tithe. Because many of you are judging tithe and not paying off a tray. Miaka kumi or was in Jukumi mu church. Toswala nako. But partly because you have been a bad stew, 
Hey, you do have improved your income, but Osigade is living on handouts. Because you have not managed your life very well. And so the church is losing tithes from you. Because by today you should be reached one million paying tithe. No, for being a bad steward. Your family is suffering. The, the, your wife should have reached a level of choosing as I am as I'm to Allah Satukati. For the last 15 years, go msaj to swalako. Okufa was or mukazi, pakakati, and get them to make no 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 vat, no value added. Eh? Eh? Nabuzo mufumbo mu. Ofumba libutia. I took ya come sajo kunka dia. Terich akwasentia? Terich and funyemu. Oh mukazi atani can inabera cook cook cooking cook to cut his nagy cooka. Cook, cooking, cook tea, cooka. She's now what? A cooka. Terich and kwasentia? Ufumbo womenya wichi? No vat, no value added. In get Zarizabitanu, Katisigade Vitat. Hallelujah. So the church needs good stewards. And no one is going to do your role if you don't do it. Each of you has a place in this church. You must do your role and be a good steward. You benefit yourself, your family, your church, and this nation. So take your position. Take what? Stand up and I pray for you. Lord, I pray for these people here who have heard the message of stewardship to take possession, as you told the children of Israel, take possession of that land. I now pray that you take possession of what the Lord has said for you. Possess the land, possess the wife, possess the children, possess the job, possess the income, possess every resources. Possess the brain, possess the diploma, possess the degree, the master, the possess. I pray for a spirit of possession today. Reclaim possession. Reclaim your place in God's kingdom. Reclaim possession of life, possession of material, possession of transformation. I pray that you reclaim what the Lord has said for you. Reclaim. Reclaim that you be full of what God has said for you. I pray that the spirit which had come near you or near you, of losing your position is crushed in Jesus' name. He is buried with Christ in the grave. And a new spirit in you rises, which ascended with Christ to heaven, a spirit of possession. I pray you possess what the Lord has said for you. You possess everything the Lord has said for you. And in the blessing of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, receive the spirit of possession. Possess whatever the Lord has said for you, and that your life will never be the same. In Jesus' name we pray.